Today we'll be using the Dread Ringer, the semi-automatic version of the Slusher. Slushing out two slushes per slush, if that makes any sense. Having a three-shot kill though, so it's pretty slow at kill time, but pretty consistent with chip damage. Also has very, very, very nice paint and can really, really paint very quickly if you're really trying to go for it. Having Suction Bomb and Reef Slider, this is definitely a Slayer kit, and while Reef Slider is not the best, you can find your uses for it as with most specials. Suction Bomb is also okay with it. I'd prefer probably a quicker option. Not necessarily a Burst Bomb. That might be a little strong, but something like a Splat Bomb would be nice. But I understand why they wouldn't give the Dread Ringer that, because the regular Slosher already has it. Either way, the goal is for three wins, and if we get three wins in a row, we'll go for a fourth one. I'll see you in the first match. All right, match number one. Not necessarily going to be the painter for the match, though we might end up being if the Dooleys don't paint that much. They are an aggressive option. And since we are kind of a slayer, we will try to be a little more aggressive today. Um, we're actually gonna poke under the sledge here. They are throwing bombs, so we have to kind of take this slow. I wanna look for a chance to get in. Like here is the, um, what's it called? The stamper over here. So we do wanna take him out. It is pretty easy to trap people in your own ink if you do hit the first two sloshes. So easy for a follow up as long as they're not a quick weapon that can move around. I do see someone over here. So I'm gonna try to stop him in his tracks. Okay, he didn't actually move. I thought he moved there for a second. Careful, our friend actually took the kill for us. Thank you friend for protecting us. It's very nice of him. All right, we're gonna reef slide her maybe into a quarter here. I'm just trying to play this safe. You don't wanna reef slide and die even though it really does happen a lot of the time. And we do have pretty good range with this weapon. I'd rather not die to this guy. We're having a lot of hard kills. There we go. We finally take a kill on the ink jet, so that's a pretty good kill to take. Just gonna kind of stay around here. There is a toxic miss, but the stamper is now dead, so we don't really have to worry too much about him. Um, I'm gonna be the one on the tower here, so I won't jump off. I do see this guy over here probably trying to um, attack this way. So I do have... I did hit two shots. I did hit that perfectly, as perfect as I could. I maybe could have thrown an extra slosh into the air, but showing the slower kill time on it, especially compared to a splatter shot. So we did lose our reef slider, but again, reef slider is not the end of the world losing. I'm gonna try and find this um, stamp if I can. Not really sure where he's coming in from. Yeah, this, this splatter shot is being very pesky about actually running towards us. All right, we'll take the kill there. Unfortunate trade, but that's just how it is. It's just a slow kill, Tom. Unfortunately, still not really getting a push off of this. There's still someone over here. They don't really seem too interested in attacking him, so I'll try to take him out. Very good. There is still one guy over there. Our friend takes him out. I'm going to start laying down paint then, because it seems like I probably need to be the piece that kind of instigates fights here. Don't want to be caught out alone, though, so we're going to just try to keep a healthy distance. All right, I did take some damage from the charge slash, so we'll need to be careful. Maybe get, oh, oh, very close. Yes, he dodged into it. Very nice. All right, we've got the splatter shot over here, so we're going to try and maybe distract him. I'm going to hide under here. That didn't quite reach me, so this is fine. Maybe take out the um, stamp. I am very low on health, though, so we need to be careful. Need to be trying to tag team, but unfortunately, it just does feel like we're in weird spots. All right, there's someone behind us. Man, we're really not getting an amazing push going off of this. It feels like we're getting a lot of kills, and they're not necessarily wearing a lot of quick respawn either. So I, I definitely am just probably going to need to try to take a midline approach. Very good. There's a splatter shot. Friend actually helps us take the kill there. Again, you want to be working with the teammates so your two sloshes actually can kill because your teammates are chip damaging them. There's someone over here. We're going to actually just kind of poke at him. I do have my um, Reef Slaughter, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop that whenever I can. Try to just stay low, though, under this cover. That way we don't take too much damage from it. I actually landed the second two sloshes on the um, Stamper there, so that's pretty nice. I've got seven points left to take. They shouldn't really be able to get too close, and we'll take our first KO. Very nice. All right, match number two. Working with a similar enemy team like last time, there is a Splatana here. Not as strong as the other Splatana, though. Well, I'd say strong as more in range and less in actual power because the Splatana Whopper Deco is pretty good. Like, it's not weak in, by any means. There is this guy over here. I'm going to try to paint for my friends to actually take him on. <laughs> this is the arrow spray being very, very, very greedy. Uh, did not work out him for him in the slightest. I'm going to start putting some paint down. They did tag me with missiles, so I'm going to back up, throw my bomb. Haven't been using my bombs very much either. 
I don't even know if I actually used it in the first match. All right, take you out. I'm going to guard my friend. I actually like, hit someone, so hopefully can hit this guy. All right, maybe hit him. There we go. Good. Remember to flick your slosher shots because it can very easily be flicked if you're actually prepared for it. I'm going to try and catch this guy on the jump up. All right, that didn't quite kill him, but it did scare him off. He will have to recover right now. I'm going to stay up here. Just try to guard their snipe. Be careful, though, because that is a Nautilus. Nautilus are scary. All right, we're going to try and get this off. All right, we're fine. That's fine. We actually nuke the guy in the air. That's pretty good. Going to guard the tower here, honestly. Uh, there's the wiper. So try to get him. Really not finishing any kills, are we, today? That's not particularly great. Oh, wait. Slosher. There's splatter shot, not slosher. I'm the slosher. Oh, no. Well... Unfortunately, place Booyah Bomb. I did not hear it because I only have one headphone in. But that's fine, I guess. Alright. Get rid of the arrow spray there. There is still someone over this way. I can't tell if it's the, um... splash o -matic. I want to figure out where they're all coming in from. want to also just make sure, again, like last time, where we have paint to move around. That way our teammates can just kind of come in and help us. I am in a bit of a bad situation, though. So, get this paint back down. That's the Nautilus. Oh, I flicked my shot a little bit too much there and missed the second slosh. And that is a bit. Of, oh, we're not doing great, are we? We have no map control whatsoever. I think we're all trying to solo everyone by ourselves. So we need to um, try to actually win some thoughts. Teamwork style. Okay, he's going to splash down. That's fine. Uh, unfortunately, die to him. That's not great. He shouldn't have even had that much of a charge. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, no, guys, guys, slow down. Slow down, guys. <laughs> this is not great. We need to slow down so we're not alone. I didn't even see the bomb until it was too late. Oh, boy. Okay, deep breaths. We're going to quiet down and see if we can't actually steer a win out of this. Yeah, we're just dying a little too often. Again, our teamwork is being incredibly bad here, and the Nautilus is just kind of deleting me. I can't do much against the Nautilus if he has paint. And, you know, if we're not painting ourselves, then we're going to actually struggle to keep him out of our base. Hopefully, we've got a little bit more paint down here. We need to stop letting their splatter shot kind of sit in their base. I think that's part of our issue, too. We're not cleaning up enemies fully. We're just kind of picking off a couple of them and then ignoring the others. So, trying to work on that. Finally get a wipe out so we can actually start making a push. If he's going to ride tower, that's perfectly fine with me. I do need to go forward and start spraying down paint. Just don't want to be blindsided by the, um, um, okay. I, I think I see what's happening now. <laughs> Nautilus might not have the best of internet connections. They also have some beacons in, so we need to watch out for that. Unfortunately, not to the arrow spray. Uh, hopefully our friend can take that kill. We're still pushing, so that's good. I'm going to watch these beacons. If they disappear, we know. There is a disconnect, so I don't know. Um, that's not great. We took the lead. Um, uh, I don't know if we're going to win this. Uh, we'll see. All we have to do is defend. So we're going to go ahead and just start placing as much paint as we can forward for defense. Thankfully, we actually blindsided him with the shot. So hopefully... Oh, you're almost dead. And we somehow, some way, took a win there. Um, definitely blessed that match because we certainly did not deserve that with the poor play where we're doing. Other way, I'll see you in the next match. All right, match number three, fighting another Nautilus. Uh, so like last time, we need to be careful of it because it was just kind of deleting us. I'm going to be working severely on paint, though, because our team is very slow. Thankfully, they should be able to help us out, but I really don't need to fight the Nautilus um, at range because I do believe it slightly outranges us. All right, I'm going to shoot over the wall there. Didn't quite get the kill, but that's fine. He is damaged enough to where the outside hit should kill. Oh, we're going to die to the Dowser Dooleys, though, but our teammates are actually chasing him down, and he can't dodge roll forever, so that's really good for our teammates to get the kill on that. I uh, only have two people forward, but they're still doing a pretty good job, so I'm going to try and do paint duty for them so they can actually move around, and the um, enemy team has a bit more issues actually moving. I'm going to try to back up for a bit more of a nuanced view, I guess. Not not really. A more relaxed view, I guess. Because I don't want to be too aggressive and just outright die. All right, try and get the kill on that guy. Didn't quite work, but that's fine. Get an assist on him at the very least. I think just playing it safe right now until our teammates actually can get a front going is great. 
I'm just trying to play defensively. Be careful. Back up. And again, this is where the paint for this weapon is really just coming in handy, allowing you to do a lot of things at range, even whenever you can't really pressure them with damage. All right, we'll get the kill on this guy. Oh no, Ugh. I don't know if I could have gotten a slosh out that quickly. Probably not, he was just outside of the range there. All right, back up here. Just want to make sure they don't climb the tower here. Those are the dousers, so I do have to be careful of them. All right, don't want to fight that head on. Yeah, no, 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 no. We didn't have anyone forward. I need to just disengage completely there. All right, we lost someone on backwards, so we need to make sure. Oh, that's not great. That's really not great. Okay, we actually got the kill on him somehow, which is surprising in the slightest. Careful. All right, take on this umbrella here. Not actually sure where he went. I have no idea where he went. He went far, far away. Really not tracking people very well today, am I? All right, there's the dualies over there, so they are now out. I'm gonna try to just kind of spread some paint down here. Again, that's what I'm really just working on. Maybe I can get the kill on this guy. Squeezer is heavily going after me, so I'm going to just try to be aggressive towards him. His aim is not the best, so I can actually just kind of run straight towards him. Just flick back and forth. Thank you, friend, for taking care of the guy behind me. That is absolutely great. Oh, careful. Don't want it out of the suction bomb. Okay, we're going to die out of that. I'm fine. I'm fine being a little bit of a meat shield for our friends to push a little more points. Hopefully our stringer can back up enough to where we can jump to him and defend him. He does have some hostile paint on his wrong side. Careful. All right, we're going to sit right here safely. Uh, I think we're going to actually take this weird angle here. That way the Brella can't just come up and give us a big old hug. All right, you should not be dead for some reason. Very weird sometimes when it looks like your slosh is on it, but they don't. And that's how the weapon is. The second slosh does not exactly line up with the first one. So if it does seem like you shot straight and it still missed, that's probably because you still carried some momentum um, from your just moving around in general. I'm going to sit up here with our friend here and wait for a good reef slaughter opportunity. All right, very nice. Back up once again. I think attacking this left side should be fine. It should actually get us a win here. Gonna attack this way. They do have spawn armor, but our weapon does a pretty good job of actually taking the spawn armor out, and we will take our third win. All right, we got three wins in a row and no losses, so we'll go ahead and go for our fourth win. It is Splat Zones now. The modes did just change over, so we'll see how this goes. Um, since we do paint pretty decently, as is, I'm not really you know too afraid of zones being a difficult mode. We are once again fighting the same Nautilus. So that's not great. All right, we'll take out this guy here. Don't really want to die if I don't have to. I would rather not. I've got to recover here at this point. If he tries to hit me with fall off, I can maybe move out of the way. All right, wait for that to pass by before I actually do anything aggressive. All right. Please take out something. No. Okay, 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 okay. We're playing this a little bit too much like tower control where we're being overly aggressive. Zones is a bit slower of a mode until you can actually get in control and then you try to steamroll. But until then, you got to take it slow. We lost a couple of people over there, but I believe they killed the culprit, so we're just fine. Gonna try to spread some paint around while we're doing this. I am being multi-targeted, so that's not great. Okay, uh, unfortunately killed by the blobs just bouncing around and we are um, preoccupied to say the least. Thankfully, they haven't gotten in control yet, but our friend did abandon our other friend and now he's dead. Really need to work team work together. Don't do it. Don't be too aggressive. Okay. Gonna back him up. Maybe get some hits on him. I did hear one hit marker go off. Okay, we actually got two shots on him, so that's fine. Take the kill on him. Um, don't... Again, I, I'm not a big fan of Manta Maria's pillar. Because it does just block off a lot of the entrance to mid. Like, there are other ways to get to mid, of course, but... It's certainly scary. All right, we're going to pop this here. Uh, unfortunately, going to die. Yeah, Roof Slider is just a death sentence half the time. Uh, I don't really know how to use it that well, though, in Splat Zones. All right, we'll take out the blob there, thankfully. I'm going to try to just recover. All right, take you. going to try to take over their zone at the very least. Maybe bait them away from our friends. Um, oh, no, that's not great. Okay, well, the Nautilus did kill our one guy up here 
I, I don't really know what's happening here. Yeah, I'm just gonna die again. I don't know what... Um, guys, okay. I think we're staggering our kills too much. So, oh my goodness, and we have no paint either. This is not a great match. But let's get some paint down. We probably are not winning this. We had some good teammates the first three matches, but this one, not going too great. All right, careful. I've got a recovering cure. We're still just, no, guys, come on. You're not going to do much on your own. You need help. And I can't do anything on my own either, so we need to work together before we actually all just get killed. I'm being multi-targeted once again. Got this guy over here. They're just kind of throwing curling bombs. Okay, now that we've got someone in, I'm going to try and stop this. I just get instantly deleted. I, I don't really know what our plans are. Um, I wish we could maybe be a little bit more aggressive together and not just wait until someone does an aggressive move and then wait for them to die before we do our own aggressive move. Um, that would be absolutely stellar. But it just seems like we're not communicating well enough together. Yeah, that was not a good match at all. Um, again, it just felt like we were four individual people fighting a team of four. I don't really know what I could have done better there. My <sighs> Paint for special is a great thing when your special doesn't get you killed. But when your special just gets you killed, it kind of stinks whenever that happens. I am... I know I'm ranting a little bit, but I'm kind of very upset at that match because it just felt like we couldn't get any traction because people were dying too much. Either way, there we go. There's three wins with the Dreadringer. Again, we had a bad second match and a bad fourth match. The second match, we actually got together and collaborated enough to actually take the win, which was pretty nice, especially because we only had three people. Match four, I'm sure I've said enough about it, but I'm going to just try to say, look, I get it. We play, have bad days sometimes, so it's not the end of the world. I'm not trying to rag on them too much because that's just how it works. I have bad days a lot, especially when I use weapons I don't know how to play. So that's not that's not my point. My point is that we just did not mesh together at all. Um, and it's just unfortunate. You can't control it half the time. I certainly did not play well at all. I died way too many times, even though I don't have a great special to survive for. Um, I don't have a gear set to actually be dying a lot. I would have to have quick respawn and stuff like that. The two matches that did go well went pretty well, though. Our team was just kind of, you know, sliding together. We were getting chip damage off and doing a lot of good things. So, yeah, either way, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a comment below and maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.